Hey guys, Ben Funderburg with Hey Man Fishing. It's pre-spawn bass fishing on today's episode, and I got the number one plug you need to be using. Stay tuned. Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ben Funderburg. In today's episode, we're gonna cover everything about pre-spawn bass fishing using the square bill. And it's so named because it's squared off, the lip squared off on, on it. And this plug was developed by a guy named Fred Young uh, in, in the 1960s. And then this plug went on to win the Bassmasters Classic in 1974 by Tommy uh, Martin and again in 1976 by Rick Klung. So this is a killer plug this time of the year in the pre-spawn. And you can use this plug all the way up to the beginning of summer. Uh, round docks, uh, bouncing it off of wood, run it down parallel with riffraff, rocks. Uh, this plug is going to go get them this time of the year. And you know what's good about this plug, and I like it, is I can take my grandkids out. It's easy catching just throwing this plug out and reeling in um, for young people starting out fishing but the square bill is the plug to go to this time of the year guys there's a variety of square bills on the market today and most of them are designed to dive between one to seven foot of water and um, the colors that i like to use in the uh, uh, heavily stained the muddy water is the fluorescent colors the, the, the brighter colors and then if I'm using them in uh, just uh, clear water to partially stain, I like to go with the natural colors. Um, okay, guys, the best knot to tie for this square bill, in my opinion, is the polymer knot. And what we're going to draw, take your line that's coming from your rod, and you're going to take that line, and, you know, you want to work with about, uh, four to six inches of that line and you what you want to what you're doing here is you're just going to double that up like if you can see that you're going to double it up all right and i got it pinched right here on the very end and i'm going to take my lure and on this split ring i'm going to run it through that split ring on the lure okay you see now i got this thing just, just doubled on that split ring through there. Just tie like you're starting a granny knot. Make one tie and bring it all the way down. Okay, tighten it up. And then you got this one loop left on the back side of it. Run that loop, run it over your hook and the lower, run it over all that and bring it back around to the front. So you should have your loop now in the front. And I like to cinch it down. So just cinch that down. This one piece of your line is just hanging out right here. You wanna pull it. And see it's, it's going down right here. All right, it's making a real good knot on the end. And this is not gonna come off. I've never had one break. And just just cut off your excess line there follow on and that boy he ain't gonna go nowhere guys when it comes to fishing the square bill matter of fact a lot of my lures I like to use a spinning outfit I got a, a, a 3,000 uh, size uh, reel on this uh, seven foot spinning outfit on this rod and what i like to do is i like to backfill my reel with braided line and i usually usually put in there about uh 15 to 20 pound braided line and then on top of that i reel in i tie a, a what they call a double uni knot to tie the braid to the floor carbon and i usually put about 30 yards of uh, fluorocarbon on top of that braid and um, I've never ever had my line to break tying that double union knot when I'm tying braid to fluorocarbon um, 
I fish with about 12 pound uh, fluorocarbon most of the time. If you're gonna fish heavy, uh, like grass beds, I'd go with 15 pound, at least 15 pound. Um, so that's my setup. Okay so, guys, we're getting ready to go out and catch us some bass. I want to show you that little bit of a setup that I have on using the spinning outfit, the colors I use and when I use them. And I'm gonna go out and show you how I fish them and whereabouts to throw these lures to help you catch more fish. A guy told me one time about fish and gave me some tips. He said, uh, when the turtles are on the logs, the fish are in the coves. When the dogwoods bloom, the fish are in the coves. And when you got pollen in the water, fish are in the coves. Man, we got all three of them things going right on right now. So I'm expecting we're gonna have a good time on the water. Here we go. Guys, all I'm doing, I'm running this square bill down beside these rocks. Around the piers. We uh we're about four days from after a cold front. Fish got moved off last couple of days so i'm hoping they then kind of move back up a little bit well, we are using the square bill uh, right in front of this pier right here guys let's see if we can get us a little bit of a pattern going here and catch one in front of the pier when six foot of water and it's likely we're gonna catch them all up and down through here but we're gonna see <clears throat> see so I'm out eight feet this pier then eight foot of water the deepest part of it I'm doing is working at square bill from shallow out to the end of this pier down beside it you afford to scaled up yourself and throw up under the pier that's good too Fish gonna be hanging all over places like that up front of the pier. So they making their transition to that bank. They are making their transition to that bank. And uh pretty wind. Didn't got much wind today. Very little. And it's been brought that's been blowing. Oh, we've been having wind gusts up to 20, 25 miles per hour the last couple of days. And it's been tough, tough fishing. <clears throat> One thing you do, you catch a lot of with this plug. You're fishing up toward that bank, you're getting a lot of these mussels. Got some big fish right there now. Some big old females, they just waiting in the wing, wait on those uh, males to get that bed made up. 
and uh, she go up there and lay them eggs. Males uh, do their job and be on the bed. Yeah, throwing this old square bill. There he is. There he is. He's little. He's not no biggie. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Right here at the boat when I was reeling in. Ooh, there we go. Right on them rocks. Get off. There you. There we go. Little tiny bass. Little tiny bass. golden there. Alright. It's a big crappy right there. Oh. There. there we go. Uh, well, I thought they were big crappy. They're not no bigger than the ones over there in the one kitchen. Come on, Mr. Crappy. We got some crappy down here. Yeah, right out in front of me here. Right out in front of me. Uh, there we go. We're going down to them. Go up and get him. Keep it above the head. Keep it above the head. Oh, they all over it. Twenty-five foot of water. Fishing out in the channel. Come on, about time to hit. About time to hit. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Little. 
Too little. Too little. Come on, get him, Mr. Crab. Looks like some decent fish there. There it is. Looks like some decent ones in here. Too I think he's gonna be too little. They gotta be eight inches. And we ain't want no little tiny ones. Come on, Mr. Crappy. Feel like a good one. Yeah. Feel like a good crappy. There we go. Woo hoo hoo. Mr. Crappy. All right. It's too small. Alright guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna move to another location. 